How's everyone doing? Today I want to talk to you about the oscillating cutter. Let's get right into it. This tool right here is called an oscillating cutter. We use it for cutting out all our carbon fiber parts once they come out of the mold. When carbon fiber parts come out of the mold, they are not too final part geometry. Material extends past where the actual edge of the part is. That material needs to be removed. So whether it is the exhaust cover or the forward spinner, there is excess material that needs to be cut off. This doesn't just work for small parts like I'm showing here. It works for even the largest parts on the aircraft. This is the tool for the job. So in a little bit, I actually want to show you how this tool works. We just got our aft spinner part out of the mold. There is excess material on the top and excess material on the bottom that I'll need to be removing with this. Uh, but before I do, I thought it'd be helpful for those of you who don't know to explain how this tool actually works because you might not be familiar with it. So this tool works through oscillations. It takes the head and it moves it back and forth like this. Uh, this particular model, depending on your speed setting, can oscillate anywhere between 5,000 to 20,000 oscillations per minute. For cutting out our carbon fiber parts, we like to use this blade right here. It's got these little teeth. Uh, this is a, what's called a round blade. The round blade is nice for long, continuous, linear cutting, which is pretty much all the cuts we do when we're cutting out our carbon fiber parts. There's other blades like this one, which is a plunge cutter, which is good for plunging into the material. All right, now onto the exciting part. Let's use the oscillating cutter to trim this carbon fiber part. We've got excess material on the bottom and on the top that we need to trim. And before I can do that, I need to put on some safety gear. So I've got my nitrile gloves on. I've got my Tyvek suit. I just put this on over my clothes. And I'll have safety glasses and then I'll have uh, a mask on. And I'll put those on right before I get started so I can still talk to you guys in this video right here. So this is the aft spinner we'll be cutting out. And for all of our parts, we've got features that define the edge of the part. So on this one, we've got a top and a bottom, and I'll show you what the bottom looks like right here. So this is straight out of the mold, so there's still this existing material, but right here, this edge defines the edge of the part. So I'll actually be taking the oscillating cutter, and I'll be cutting close to that edge, but not right up to it to avoid going past it. So I'll cut close to it and go all the way around, and then I'll use a sanding tool to get right up to that edge for final part feature. All right, I found my mask. Let's cut out the top portion first. Top's all trimmed up. Let's trim up the bottom. So I forgot to mention this earlier, but the reason the Tyvek suit is really nice is to keep any carbon dust off my skin and clothes that's generated from cutting with the oscillating cutter. All right, so we've got the top and the bottom successfully trimmed. We've got all the excess material removed. We do have a little bit more work to do. We've got to come back with some sandpaper and remove a little bit more to get to the actual edge of the part. I want to go over with you guys some tips and tricks that we've learned while using the oscillating cutter to cut out carbon fiber. Tip number one, and probably the most important tip, is to always leave an offset between your oscillating cutter and your part edge. The reason for this is because 
if you try to take your tool and you try to cut all the way up to the edge of that part, I guarantee you that at some point you'll have a shaky hand or you'll get tired or something will happen where you end up cutting into the part. I don't care how crazy of a precise cutter you are, at some point you'll have a little bit of variability that'll cause you to nick into the part. When you leave an offset, you leave yourself some breathing room. So anywhere from a sixteenth to an inch to an eighth of an inch, whatever you're comfortable with, leave a little bit of excess material off the final part edge to come back and sand later. With a sanding tool, you have a lot more control, a lot more refinement, a lot more time to work your way to that final part edge. Tip number two is lighting. Bad lighting makes it really difficult to know where to cut. Good lighting has the opposite effect. Good lighting makes it a lot easier to know where your cut is. Tip number three, do not hold the oscillating cutter in one spot for too long. If this is my part and this is my edge and I'm offset about an eighth inch and I hold it in one spot for too long, what that can do is that can generate heat, localized heat in one area. And if you do so long enough, it can actually start to burn the material. And nobody wants that. So make sure that when you're cutting, you're keeping that tool moving across your surface at all times. Tip number four. Take full advantage of all of this blade. Oftentimes when you're cutting, you'll get comfortable using maybe just this portion or this portion or this portion. If you use one portion long enough, that portion of that blade will dull. But you'll still have all of this that's still sharp. So the mindset is use all of this blade to take advantage of it so that you don't just use one portion, think it's dull, and throw the entire blade away when you still have 80% that's still sharp. Tip number five and the final tip is to test. So again, for example, if this is my part and I need to cut it out, the first thing I want to do is to not just jump right in, you know, doing my eighth inch offset and start cutting it. A good thing to do or a good practice to do is to turn your Dremel tool on, offset it if you can, if you have excess material, anywhere from a half inch to a full inch and just try out how is this material cutting right now? Is my blade dull? Is my battery low? Uh, is my material wanting to be cut right now or does it need to have a little bit more cure time for it? So by doing that initial test it can give you a really good idea if you can jump right in and start cutting the rest of your part out. So that was just a quick video on the oscillating tool. Hope you guys learned something. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.